Hello, I'm Rosamund Pike and I'm reading Pride and Prejudice for Audible. It is a truth, universally acknowledged, that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a wife. It's an extraordinary book, Pride and Prejudice, because it, it gives people, in surprising ways, a huge amount of joy. It's, just, it's witty and it's modern. And I think that's the other thing that you realise about Jane Austen is how, how modern Elizabeth Bennet is. I think Elizabeth Bennet is a phenomenal character um, because she has this spirit and she has this disregard for convention and she has a wonderful ability to say it like it is. You are mistaken, Mr Darcy, if you suppose that the mode of your declaration affected me in any other way than as it spared me the concern which I might have felt in refusing you had you behaved in a more gentlemanlike manner. I think when you're listening to something, it, the words go into your head in a very unique way and you do retain a lot of a novel that you've heard just as much as you do when you've read it. Reading gives you one experience, but listening gives you a different one and, and makes you start and notice and respond to different things and perhaps gives you a perspective that you wouldn't necessarily have thought of. An audiobook gives you something because it suggests voices to you, but you're, what you're picturing is still all your own. I hope people enjoy what I've done with it and people find my characterizations convincing. I'm constantly listening and I'll get up my iPhone and make a recording of someone that I think might have some characteristic that's useful for a character. I have a sort of strange system of notation that I've developed over time of indicating to me where the thoughts are going. So my script um, for doing these is covered in sort of arrows and directions and it's funny, it wouldn't make sense to anybody else, but um, I can follow it. Have you heard that Netherfield Park is let at last? Mr. Bennett replied that he had not. But it is, returned she, for Mrs. Long has just been here and she told me all about it. Pride and Prejudice will always resonate with people because she's dealing with a theme for a start that's so universal, which is falling in love for the first time. I mean, every expectation you think you have of this novel will probably be refuted by a really close reading of it. Somehow, the specificity with which she talks about her world will interest you many, many generations further on. And I think that's true about any writer. Any writer who draws you into a world with total specificity will always capture you if they really talk from the heart. It's been so rewarding doing Jane Austen. It's extended my world or opened it up in a, in a new and exciting way.